all right good morning good afternoon good evening wonderful people lovers of freedom all over the world wherever you're joining us from today you're highly welcome to this wonderful youtube platform that gives you quality news and information i say very beautiful morning to all beer france all over the world yes i am back again with these impressing issues of all the activities happening in Biafran territory. So if you've not been following us on Let's Talk TV, all you have to do is to go back to our previous um, news and information and check, you know, all the activities and all the news and videos we've been dropping to you, for you rather, back-to-back -back news and information that we've been dropping to all beer friends all over the world now still on the issue of um you know the genocidal attack that we are seeing currently in abu state i've actually left the one of okigwe for now you know let us concentrate the one happening in in um Aba, in the in Aba region and you know bikaba axis and all that more information is coming up and more truth and more reality is coming up currently concerning them um, you know the attack of the nigerian army on them um, abians especially those in aba region currently another person came out and said that his mother you know was taken hostage now when they went to release when they went to bail the mother something happened if a, a young man who is in university who just came back was abducted the boy came back you know to check up on his family over the issues that has been happening in Aba recently the funniest thing is that on his arrival in Aba. The boy was apprehended or rather the boy was abducted by the nigerian army this information is one out of so many information that has been coming up since you know the day the army officers were acquired in obikaba junction army has been on rampage they have been um, abducting innocent um, abians especially those living in aba region and this the fact of this whole thing is that aba is not the only place they are trying to depopulize them um, you know biafran land and they are doing it by cutting off you know the youth they are scared they are scared because they feel the kind of power, you know, that Biafrans are possessing, especially those in southeastern part of the country, is something that they cannot curtail anymore. They are seeing the reality. Men are now standing up. Men are now defending their lands. So for those of you who, you know, are in other parts of the country and um, in other part of the world who feels that these informations are lies why don't you come closer why don't you call your people in Biafran land to confirm oh you think what the prime minister simon Ekpa has been screaming out you know up and down concerning the incessant killing and the incessant them um, you know attack on residents in Aba, you think it's just mere babash. I post issues, I post realities, I post things happening, and someone is coming out to tell me that uh, I am I'm 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 giving out them fake informations. We are telling you what is happening currently, and you're out there arguing. But that is not the issue. The reality is that it is going down in Abba. That is it that it, it that is not happening to you doesn't mean it is not happening to another person. Onyo Mire Amarala. And that is the reality. We are seeing it with fact. 
because it is happening in Abba. And the funniest thing is that Abba happens to be in my hometown. So we are giving first-hand information on this particular issue happening. Meanwhile, listening to this wonderful broadcast concerning the issue where you see, you know, uh, the chief of army staff coming out, you know, to, to, to defend the atrocious things that they are doing. Do you know the reality? The person will fit them. Now, the Prime Minister Simon Ekwa, because in they give them what to, what to promise, and that is just the reality. People are now defending themselves. The resistant fighters are resisting the attack of these terrorists. Enjoy this wonderful broadcast and do not forget to continue to share and distribute our information to all beer friends everywhere. Share to as many platforms and as many to as many groups as possible. Share to the S handle, share to Twitter, share to Instagram and share it on Facebook. Let the world know this genocidal attack happening in beer land. They're not using witchcraft. It's because they have data. We need to build that data database. Uh, if it is comprehensive, wherever you are, once you are cited or your signature is seen anywhere, it's easier to track who did this, where, and how. So that's why we want to encourage issues of things like uh, having a comprehensive census for Nigeria, so that we can, we can it will assist the security agencies in performing their work. What is the extent of um, the army's investigation of the killing of his officers and men in Okwama? Okwama, yes. All right, um, now I want to show you <clears throat> the main reason why we came here this evening. Remember that I told you, based on the title of this very broadcast, that the cost of keeping MNK in the DSS custody is now more expensive than the cost of releasing him. Remember, I told you that, right? Now I want to show you what is going on my people very very important please if you haven't shared this very broadcast i don't know what you're waiting for because we are now heading into the main matter that brought us here this very evening please endeavor to do so like and share this very broadcast very very important we have gotten to the main purpose of why we are here today I will utilize maybe 20 minutes or 30 minutes to analyze this, and then I will open the line. In fact, as I'm moving forward with this video, I am going to open the line as well, so that those of you who want to, you know, call in and make your contribution will be able to do so. Now, pay attention while we move. Former Commissioner in Delta State, Kenny Okolubo, and the Public Affairs Analyst, Abba Kaka, who is in our studio uh, just off site, uh, but within the same premises. Uh, thank you very much indeed, gentlemen, for joining us. And let me, um, come, I think we finished with you um, the, the last time, uh, Mahmoud Jega. So let me come to you, Kenny Okolubo. Um, let's turn to the story of that horrific attack in Abia State in which gunmen attacked a security, a security post in Abba, killing five soldiers and six civilians during a shootout. Your thoughts? I think it was, it was, it was one of the most cowardly acts that has been carried out recently. It's quite sad because it's like a, uh, one year down the line, we still have the security challenges. But what bothers me here is that they came in free tinted SUVs, Prado. Everybody knows how much a Prado cost. That should tell you how much these people are, how they're being funded. While the three XUVs were approaching, they had, they also had ground support. So there was failure of intelligence because I, that will be Akaba's junction, you know, Bingwa, local government area where this attack took place. I heard the junction is, is a wide junction that they could have been able to tell. And when you see three SUVs coming at a time when you have talked about seats at home, I thought there should have been more of intelligence. As sad as it is, but it was a surprise attack. And at this point in time, the National Intelligence Agency have to sit up because Simon Ekpa is becoming more of a, a clog 
in the wheel of progress for the five southeastern states. Mm. We have some <laughs> of us. Have... <laughs> oh, mad people everywhere. <laughs> Did you hear that? He said that it's like Simon Ekpa is becoming a cog. A cog. Should we hear that again? Let us hear that once again, Umunem. Yeah, where this attack took place. I heard the junction is, is a wide junction that they could have been able to tell. And when you see three SUVs coming at the time when you have talked about sit at home, I thought there should have been more of intelligence. As sad as it is, but it was a surprise attack. And at this point in time, the National Intelligence Agency have to sit up because Simon Ekpa is becoming more of a, a clog in the wheel of progress for the five southeastern states. Mm. Simon Ekpa is becoming a cog in the wheel of progress of the fight of the southeastern politicians against what they call insecurity. Against what they call insecurity. But in actual sense, it is never insecurity. Where you have insecurity is in the northern part of the zoo where you have the likes of Boko Haram, you have the likes of uh, Al-Qaeda in my grave, you have the likes of uh, ISWAP terrorists, you have the likes of uh, Fulani headsmen terrorists, you have the likes of uh, 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 ISBA, you have the li all of them, over seven different terror groups in the northern part of the zoo being funded by the Fulani politicians. That is what you called insecurity, not the people who say we do no longer want to be paid by the zoo terrorists in military uniform. Therefore, we are going to defend ourselves. Therefore, we will defend ourselves that we may be alive to see Biafra. That is not insecure. The people who are actually bringing insecurity in the place that you call Southeast are the terrorists in military and police uniform. They are the real ones causing insecurity, trying everything humanly possible to displace our people from their ancestral homes in Biafra land. Now, them they do, I'm not. Have you heard or seen where Biafran army or Biafran, you know, defense forces went into a village to displace innocent Biafrans. Have you ever had anything like that? My people in the comment section, please, have you heard or seen where Biafra Liberation Army or any kind of Biafra security, you know, uh, 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 um, archi uh, architecture or agent, sorry, go into a village and displace the innocent villagers or indigenous of that particular, you know, uh, 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 state. Have you seen anything like that? There is nothing like that. The people who go into the village kidnapping people as they are currently doing in Aba, which the BLA is resisting them are the zoo terrorist military. Now then they do am now. I think they do them. We have some of us have said that uh, holding down the Mazinam the Kanu uh, has been uh, negative because it has given cause to raise a Simon Epa who who is not preaching the same sermon as Nam the Kanu was. Let us see the face of the idiot talking. That time that I want him to come has arrived. Given the title of this very broadcast that I'm making right now, the time that I want this idiot to arrive has come. And the time to digress a little and dissect him has finally arrived. Let us listen once again, my people. Pa is becoming more of a, a clog in the wheel of progress for the five southeastern states. Mm. We have, some of us have said that uh, holding down the Mazinam the Kanu uh, has been uh, negative because it has given cause to raise a Simon Epa who, who is not preaching the same sermon as Nam the Kanu was preaching, who is preaching. Now, this Oluku, this very Oluku, <clears throat> has finally confirmed 
every single thing we have been saying, this Oluku has finally confirmed, and not just confirmed, but confessed, confessed that we have actually done it. Mazi Simonekpa said from beginning, from the very beginning, from autopilot, that we are going to make the kidnap and keeping of Mazinam de Kano in the DSS dungeon more expensive than releasing him. Therefore, leaving them with no other option than to free him. That word, he said it one of these days, one of these days, I'm going to look for the interview, the interview that I had with the Prime Minister in 2021. I'm going to look for the interview that I had with him in 2020. He said it to me face to face. He said it to me. After announcing it in the public. That we are going to make the kidnap and the keeping of Mazinam de Kano in the DSS dungeon more expensive than releasing him. And I told him that I'm going to hold you by your word. Today, at my face, the zoo politicians are now confessing that it is true. <laughs> It is true that Mazi Simon Ekpa and his, you know, uh, 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 and his uh, group of of uh, govern government or whatever he may call us, no problem, have actually made the keeping of Mazi Namdekano in the DSS dungeon a useless thing. Hey, wow! A round of applause. A round of applause. This is fantastic. Very, very fantastic, I can assure you. I can authoritatively tell you this is fantastic. You know, sometimes these people come on air. They plan to say something else. Let me tell you how our God works. We are the children of God. We are the children of Eli. Eli, the son of God. God, the son of Jacob. They don't know who we are uh, because it, in those days in those you know in those t timid in those timid days in those timid days if there's anything like that in those dark days when lord lugard invaded our land and forcefully because our fathers our ancestors had no guns lord lugard came invaded our land with guns and forcefully amalgamated the zoo called Nigeria, forced our fathers and our mothers to join with the, you know, parasite from the north and gave it a name, Nigeria. Now, this parasite from the north and our people, our friends in the West, do not actually know who we are. Because this generation just woke up. They see, hey, in Nigeria, we have Igbo, we have Aosa, we have Fulani, we have Yoruba, we have Efik, we have a Bibio, we have a Joe, we have uh, this and that. We have Tifi, we have Kalaba, we have... Uh... They do not know who we are. They don't know. And none of them has the chance to make a research to know the people that you are sharing one country with, to know who they are. They have no time to go and do research. We are the children of Eli. It is there. This is his story, history, our history, our lineage. You cannot take it away from us. 
the zoo politicians have confirmed that Simon Ekpa and his friends and co, Simon Ekpa and co, have finally made the keeping of Mazinam de Kano in the dungeon of DSS useless. That is what they say. Let us hear him again. Uh, has been uh, negative because it has given cause to raise a Simon Ekpa. Some of us have said that uh, holding down the Mazin and the Kanu uh, has been uh, negative because it has given cause to raise a Simon Epa, who, who is the five southeastern states. Mm. We have, some of us have said that uh, holding down the Mazin and the Kanu uh, has been uh, negative because it has given cause to raise a Simon Epa. Who, who is not preaching the same sermon as Nam the Kanu was preaching, who is preaching violence. He's in Finland. I wonder what the, what the Nigerian embassy in Finland is doing and the Nigerian foreign minister is doing at this uh, material point in time. He goes on Twitter. Now, this Efulefu, this Okoko, is saying that he wonders. And there's another interview that was, I don't know, I will try my possible best to bring it to the screen before you know, ending this broadcast. I will try and bring it. Another interview. There's another interview that I have watched today being granted by one uh, a job for I don't know. Ndia bole job for hai chine ke me kwa lo na nye bere o. Hai hai to kwa la ato na ke job for. Hai to la ato ndi bo to la ato na ke job for anko. Ndia bole job for eme ganye wa. There's another man called uh, somebody job for. I think he's from Asaba. The former DSS uh, 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 director. The former DSS director. From from Asaba. That man is from Asaba. Very, very certain he's from Asaba. A typical Igbo man. Today, today, the same thing this idiot is saying is the same thing that Okoko came to say. Somebody say former DSS spokesperson. No, he's not a former DSS spokesperson. He was he's, he was actually the former DSS boss, just like uh, uh, Bichi, Bichi, uh, uh, whatever. His name is a Jofo, somebody a Jofo. He's from Asaba. He is the former DSS boss, the director of DSS, overall boss. The same thing this idiot on the screen said today. He said now is what that idiot said today that uh, the the government has to collaborate and negotiate with the Finnish government to extradite Simon Epa. Ah, Mike Ajofo, thank you, thank you, Chris, uh, as a Chris. Mike Ajofo, he's from uh, Asaba, a pure Igbo man talking nonsense with a Yoruba man on on on, on camera, talking nonsense with a Yoruba man on camera. Now, you see, I wonder how these people went to school without education. Now, can we explain this? How do people go to school without being educated? Eh? Can somebody help me, please? I don't get it. I'm not getting it. How do you go to school without being educated? You, you went to school, you finish your primary school, uh, uh, you know, um, secondary school, you went to high institution, you went to university, you finish your, your, uh, your university, and you are not educated. You also have schools, you also have certificate. You have degree and everything. You serve the nation, the, the so-called nation, and you don't. You are not educated. You don't know the international laws, and you served as a DSS director, as the director general of DSS. Can somebody help me? Am I dreaming? Uh, the zoo has to go and negotiate with the Finnish government to repatriate Simon Epa. That is the word of that criminal today. I ask myself, so you are not educated. You don't know how international law works. You don't know how international treaty works. You served as DSS DG, yet you are not aware that 
you cannot in any way travel to oversee to another man's land to bring back somebody now let's continue before coming there there's something i want to talk here let's continue first he 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 he, he calls out this uh, violent acts he goes on propaganda he says he's carrying out referendum and they have been referendum is not propaganda what is going on is real it has nothing to do with propaganda as a matter of fact we have before by 30th of may we already had 30 million people who voted since february that we started the self-referendum today alone more than one million people voted in one particular area today now it has nothing to do with propaganda every single thing we do is real no propaganda here in 30 million votes Apparently, this is this attack was not done by IPOP. This was done by Simon Epper's boys, and he, he posted it. Probably posted it on Twitter. If you notice, he has been he has been uh, he has been number one on the tweet on on, on trends for for some time now on Twitter. And the Devesamo, the man, the vex. <laughs> Mad people everywhere, hello, Melo. <laughs> the man, the vex. Say Simon Ekbar has been number one. Let me let me bring it closer. Negudiria, Negudiria, nya. The man they vex. The man they vex. Say Prime Minister uh, has been number one on trend. And the vessel, the man know they happy at all at all. Now let's listen to him. And he's enjoying all the all the media attention. And, and, you know, that gathers him more support, gathers him more finances. And these are the finances that he's using. You know, he actually does empowerment programs. Mm. Simon Ekwa, he sends funds to... He's following. <laughs> Another round of applause. <laughs> Another round of applause. The man is following. You can hear him. He said that he does empowerment. So, therefore, he is following. He's our follower. This man, I am very, very certain he is he subscribed to our channel. I'm very sad. One million percent he subscribed to our channel. And he's listening. He's among these 700 and something people listening and watching me live. He's among, he's one of them. This man is one of these almost 800 people watching now. This idiot is one of them. I'm very certain about it. So he's following all our program. He follows everything. And uh, I, I want to applaud you for that, Ma, uh, Mr. Man. I want to applaud you. His name is Okolubo. Okolubo, I don't know where he, I think he's from, either from Delta State or from Bayelsa or Rivers. I don't know. But he's from one of those states that, that I have met. The defunct, you know, Delta State or one of those defunct states that I have mentioned is from there. These uh, people who actually also see him in the quest of, uh, of being a benefactor. So the, the government has to do something about it. Yes, if not, the South Seas is going to continue to be a, a right. world theater. And one thing I must also point yeah, out. Briefly. The military says they're going to go after them. But this is... Now, he's about to say something very, very, very imperative. This man exposed a lot of things here, which people are not paying attention. And again, before saying what he wants to say right now, he has already said something very, very important. Hmm? Continue to be a, a right. world theater. And one thing I was also... You see, he is now obsessed. He is obsessed with Mazi Simon, the Prime Minister. And uh, in other words, Mazi Namdekano has suddenly become a, a, a saint. All these evil politicians in Biafra land and beyond have now made Mazinam Bekano a saint. I remember what he said that he is sure that IPOB is not the one behind the attack, the so called attack in Obikabia. Hmm? That's what he said that IPOB is not the one behind the attack. In Obi Kabia, that is the Simon Ekwa's voice. So, in other words, 
it is good that the zoo politicians are aware that IPOB did not do or carry out any attack. At least, Mazinam de Kano must remain that scent that they have made him. Hmm? Yes, he must remain the scent. So now, if Mazinam de Kano is a scent and Simon Ekpa has become the bad boy, why can't you release the scent? Why are you still keeping him in your custody? It's a simple question that I'm asking the zoo. Since Mazin Namdekano has become a saint, why are you still keeping him in your custody? Why can't you release the saint and focus on the bad boy that you have, uh, you know, uh, 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 labeled uh, uh, Mazin Samanekwa? Let us see who is going to win the war. Yeah, briefly. The military says they're going to go after them, but this is a guerrilla warfare. Mm -hmm. It's quite difficult to get people in a gorilla warfare. Fantastic. <laughs> Okugoya. Okugokuawa. Let me make it full so you can see the, the way the mouth, the mouth was, uh, you know, dancing as he said that very all important word that everybody has been hiding and uh, avoiding to say. A zoo politician has said it. Listen continue to be a, a right. world theater. And one thing I must also point yeah, out. Briefly. The military says they're going to go after them, but this is a guerrilla warfare. Mm -hmm. It's quite difficult to get people in a guerrilla warfare. Yeah. Did you not get it? I'm coming to the word which another idiot said in this same video. This man said that this is a guerrilla warfare and it's quite difficult to get people in a guerrilla warfare quite difficult to get people in a gorilla warfare and that's why the first video that i played about musa was crying and lamenting lamenting they have strategized and re-strategized looking for a way to quench the fire yet the inferno keep on a blazing because this very fire is from the ancestors and it will never ever be quenched until Biafra is finally exited from the zoological republic. The inferno will keep on blazing. The zoo will be consumed. This Okoko on the screen has said it that this is a gorilla warfare and it's very very difficult to get people in a gorilla warfare because we can see you but you can never see us musa you can cry us a river you can never see us you can see me you can never see us but the worst part of it is that we can see you every move you make and it's not hidden the worst part of it is that it's not hidden. We said it from beginning that it is not hidden. It's in the public. We are everywhere. That's why we're warning that it has to be done within the ambit of the law. Um, but, I mean, you, you, you make a, some very good points there. And, and of course, the, the Nigerian government can't go to Finland and, and um, <laughs> sort of try and... Imagine the way this idiot speaks. <laughs> look at look at his mouth. Let me even make it. Um, let me make it full. Let me make the, let me make it a full screen. Can you watch this idiot who works with the Ruben Abate? I want you to look at this idiot who is working for Abate and see the way he speaks. He fine tune. He fine tune the English to make it look like a well refined individual, a well refined and 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 and, and reserved individual, a well refined and reserved man. Look at the way he talks, but the whole thing that is coming from his mouth has proven beyond every reasonable doubt that he is nothing but a moron and not just a moron, an illiterate, illiterate who can speak English. 
an illiterate that speaks good English. That is what this man is. Look at him. Listen to him. Um, but I mean, you 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 make a, some very good points there, and and of course the the Nigerian government can't go to Finland and and um, sort of try and um, extract. <laughs> extract. <laughs> different people we have the there's this there's something this one said this one here i'm coming to him this one Maybe the laugh. Uh, this, this one, I'm going to laugh harder than than what I'm laughing, than what I'm doing right now. I'm going, this one, this one, you see here, he proved that he is actually a full and a coconut head. This man said that maybe, see the way he, he he said it. Maybe the Nigerian government can go to Finland and uh, find a way to extract extract Simon extract him. He said. <laughs> Plus and minus extra thing. <laughs> Zoo has completely changed the mindset of the animals that live in it to begin to behave like baboons and monkeys that they cannot even reason properly like a normal human being like human beings they have to reason like animals look at what educated individual educated moron is saying with his mouth finland and and um sort of try and extract um, extract <laughs> simon Etna from there but all they can do is is try and get the cooperation of the finnish government and the Finns have said that they've I mean, they tried at one point to pick him up. They said that um, there just didn't seem to be any evidence directly linking him to what was going on here. But let me come to you, uh, Ab. Now, you see, he said that the zoo should go to Finland and extract Simon Ekpa. Eh? Extract Simon Ekpa. So, you just go there like Omar Udiko. And package him, package him, package him, put him in a box, extract him, minus, plus and minus, and bring him back to the zoo. 